two weeks till Christmas. I hope you may be getting excited. I don't know what you're feeling about Christmas, but I hope you joined us last night for our Heart in the Home Christmas special. Uh, it, was, it would be great to have those of you who did join us, but you can also watch back. Go to our YouTube channel or go to our Facebook page. We are Heart Church and you'll be able to find them there. But if you joined us last night, I shared about the shepherds and I absolutely love the shepherds in the Christmas story. I love their response to what they hear from the angels. I love how they respond to what they see and experience when they go and follow what the angels have said. So picture it. You're out there in the fields with your sheep looking after them. It's a normal night as far as you're aware. Suddenly out of nowhere, this great cloud of, of heavenly hosts, the angels come and appear. The glory of God shines around and they start singing in angelic tongues and, and pronounce this use to, news to you. And also try and tell you not to be afraid, which, I mean, come on, you're going to be a bit afraid. I bring you good news for great joy, of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, the Saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger in Luke chapter 2, verses 9 to, 11, 9 to 12. And then it's, and more angels join and they start seeing glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to, to men on whom his favour rests. And then they've got a choice to make. Do they just sort of say they're kind of probably scared? What do they do in response to this news that they've received? Well, we see that when the angels have left, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that's happened, which the Lord has told us about. And so they hurry, they don't just meander, they hurry down and they find Mary and Joseph just as they had been told. And then again, they've got a choice to make. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed with what the shepherds said. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying, praising God for all the things they'd heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. There are three things which I absolutely love about the shepherds. Firstly, their obedience. They, they, they hear this news, they're told this news by the angels. They look at each other and go, right, let's go. They're obedient, they go to investigate. Secondly, I love the fact that when they see it, just as they, be, they had been told, they just keep it to themselves. But they share it. They, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And the beautiful news was all that all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. What do we do with the word that we've experienced? What do we do with the word that we've heard? Do we go and share it? And thirdly, I love that the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they'd seen and heard, which were just as they had been told. I love how it, uh, Eugene Peterson puts this in a message version where he says, they let loose. Of praise, glorifying God. What is your response to the Christmas story? To, to the, the Christian faith? What's your response? Is it now one of obedience to God? Is it one of one to share this news with others, this glorious, awesome news? Is it one where you praise God and glorify him for all the things that he's done, all the things you've heard, all the things you've seen? This Christmas, I pray that we would be individually and collectively like the shepherds. We'd be obedient to God. We'd share the word, we'd spread the word, and we would glorify him and praise him. God bless you. Have a great day. Two weeks to go!